and shoot when I was seven. I used to bust shots crazy. I couldn't even look because the loud sound used to scare me. I love my pops for that. I love my nigga be black. I take the life of anybody trying to change what's left. And through all of that, a nigga ain't scared to death. All y'all brand new niggas just scared to death. I spent too many nights sniffing coke and right. Wasting my life. Now I'm trying to make things right. Ran over some gates. Invest in the rag business. Do things for the kids. Build a jungle gym behind the crib so they can enjoy you. Well, here we are again. Let's go. Let's get right to it. Mom Bam, 50 grand coming to the stage. 100 grand, Mr. Gil Clancy, Timmy Iris on the fight desk. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. We got some new people in the house. Benny, good to see you here. Maybe you saw the first one, maybe you didn't, but we're doing a double header tonight. Cinnamon Girl, you made fight two. We love you, babe. Thanks for coming in. Whoever we lost, Roy said he'll catch the replay. And um, hopefully, as we go, we'll get more steam. If not, we keep rolling. And to the stage, make this a little bigger, and let's get it on, as Mills used to say. Standing ovation for Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Typical Mike Tyson is uncharacteristic. Sing the Evander Holyfield. Go town Jack. Here we go, baby. Let's do it. Mike Cinnamon Girl. Tyson. Maureen. The whole crew is here. Let's enjoy. Let's have another good one. Let's get Listen. Same. Wow, they started it right up. Here we go. As soon as he hit him, he got him. He got him in right hand. A straight punch, which he normally doesn't throw a lot of. Bobby Chez, it sounds like. Yeah. Boy, these guys had a lot of disdain for each other. Good question, Matty. What year? Uh, I remember the thumbnail was, um, hmm. tell you right now, I shouldn't cheat like this, but I will. Go Town Jackson, answer it long before I could give it. They watch it, what's up, baby? I know it's new, guys. I know we only got a few people in the house, but whoever's here, you can give a thumbs up, a like, share. I know you all subscribe. The likes mean a lot. Let's see how long in between this goes. All right. They're giving us in between rounds. I mean, what'd you have that first round? I gave that to Mike. He slips to the side. I gave it to Mike, too. There we got a little different shot. I was looking. No intimidation. Boy, they, here. Man, they go right Tyson at it. They cut it. Yeah. Trying to smother. He's trying to smother Mike by actually getting too close. You know what, guys? He can't fight inside with Mike. I don't think anybody can. Holyfield fighting the fight. Holyfield. Somebody, uh, because I'll change this right now. If they're not showing us the full round, I'll switch it. 93. 1993. It looks like that. Yeah. I'm changing this. All right, guys. Give me a minute. I'm going to change this, okay? Unless you guys want. I mean, we, we don't want to see highlights, right? I don't know why. Um, give me a second, guys. I'm going to get the whole fight. I don't know why uh, they gave it that way, but they did. It'll take me uh, two seconds to um, switch this up. Mm. I'm seeing the, uh, I know you guys could hear me. I'm seeing uh, the, um, for whatever reason, there's not, 
full fight. There, there's a lot of um, let's see if this is any different. I think it's going to be the same thing, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. This is the only one out there. Everything else is highlights for one. Let's see if they cut it short. I hope they don't. As soon as he hit him, he got him. He got his attention. The mic looks like he's going to take a sign. He's so strong that it's unbelievable how much it's how, how difficult it is to move, Mike. I'm drinking coffee, guys, not liquor. Mike slipped that jab with the right hand. Do a nice, clean right hand. A straight punch, which he normally doesn't throw a lot of. How will Holyfield respond to these early brawling tactics? A straight right hand, a quick right by Tyson. Tyson there with a left uppercut. You got it, Davey. Love you, buddy. You don't make it back tomorrow night. We got a good show. We're going to be busy all week, huh? Let's go to Mike Tyson's body. No one's put it up in the community. Might be something different. You see the way the difference, the way Tyson fights. And... Yeah. This is uh, Don King, Mike Tyson. Yeah. I noticed what you're saying, too. Evander's headbutting a lot. And that frustrated Tyson, I know, immensely. The, in the second fight, the headbutt was what he gave Tyson. Oh, I saw him headbutt him twice already. He, he hit him pretty good. And then he hit him after that one. Awesome, Dave. Catch the replay. I'll say some things afterwards about where, the, where we're heading with this channel, the show, whatever we call it. Without you guys, it's nothing. Thank you, David. When they get close, tie him up for sure and tie him up. See, this is the whole round. They're not cutting it. He will fight. Get up the head, Come on, step back. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. And Lander's settling this down to more of what he wants. A sort of boxing match. Rather than just these big slugging. Holyfield comes back with a left hook. Holyfield with a combination to Tyson's head. I got it. Uh, I'll say it after the round. I don't want to take away from the fight. Benny Boy, what's happening? Always good to see you, Ben. Happy Easter to you, buddy. I got your message. I'll see you soon. You're coming up. I know that. But Holyfield showing the chance. Benny, we, we were probably together for this one, too. I don't know, buddy. 20 seconds remaining in round one. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you so much, buddy. The world to hit. Thank you. Complimenting us, Timmy, Timmy, on great work. Enjoyment. He's gotten some respect, but he can't stand a slug of Mike for the long haul. It's just not his fight. As we head for the bell. Kelly, great to see you, Kelly. Hope all is well. Pray all is well. See, they did it again. This one, they jumped into it. So we'll go. Because it's uh, shorter after this round, we'll close it up for a second. Francis, great to see you back in. Awesome. Kelly, always good to see you. You know that. Maureen, everybody. Our crew. I ask everybody again, 11 people, 11 likes will help, 11 shares might help. You never know who likes what we do. If you believe somebody likes the content we do here, whether it be the boxing and the other stuff we talk about, and I'm going to say some other things at the end of this, of where we're heading, be a well-rounded show. He can't fight inside with Mike. Share it with somebody. That might help. Build this thing a little bigger, a little quicker. We don't take shortcuts, though. Whatever it is, it is. We were talking about before smart boxing. When Evander makes Mike miss, he's got to make him pay. He's got to make it count. And that'll make him hesitate to throw punches. That Tyson, that is. And that's what Evander's trying to do here. Now, one thing is, Tyson's not overwhelming him, as he did everybody, including Mathis. Mathis survived with a life raft around him. This guy's fighting a fight. <laughs> Holyfield said he wants to get the respect of Mike Tyson. Holyfield also guaranteed victory. The offer is not big enough to handle these two guys. He's, he's too little and too young to handle these big, big guys. 
this, this fight's going to get difficult when we get to the mid rounds with all this wrestling because that wrestling is tiring. And stamina an issue as well in terms of Holyfield. That left hook missed by Holyfield. He spins Tyson around. Tyson against the ropes. Oh, big right hand. Oh, big left hand. Tyson threw back, but he got touched. He got touched. Thank you, Cinnamon. Thank you so much. Tyson is being fought tonight. This is a fight between two champions. Anybody want to share that? Yeah. Tyson was the one clinging to Holyfield. Mitch Halford had to break them apart again. And Kelly. Wild miss by Tyson. Good defensive tactics here by Holyfield. After this round, Timmy, I want to talk a little bit about this, okay? Come on, yeah. Wait, step back, step back, Jeremy. I want you to step back easy. Come on, step back. Again, something unusual. Oh, a straight left oh. hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding on. And again. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. I'll tell you what, a lot of people, including myself, didn't think. What you got, Timmy? Talk to me. 10 9, Holyfield. Round of peace. Okay. Tim said, uh, Nikki says, people always said that Tyson was very strong in his legs with the up and down and lateral movement. He did a thousand squats a day. Uh, me and uh, Nick had talked about that. Uh, I think you, you and me had talked about it. We, we've discussed this. Um, uh, yeah, he was very strong, lower body. He had dynamite in both hands, but I'm I'm noticing something. I'm going to wait, and it's going to be very a lazy narrative because it will be easy to say because of what we're going to see outcome-wise. But I'm still going to say it, and it reminds me of something that Teddy Atlas said to me that I've shared with people before. Um, and we'll get on with it. So you got – after two, we got Holyfield – by a round, correct? Yeah. You see what Nick yes. says about his legs? Yeah, everything came from there to talk. The old-time fighters, they used to tie the medicine ball to your back. Mm -hmm. and you squat, and you got to hop each step as you go up. And in Gleason's, the old gym, it was a rickety stairwell, to, and Rocky Marciano used to do it all the way to the top, but that's where your power comes from, your legs. That's why it's so important. Absolutely. Here we go. Round three. Let's do it. Round three. Savannah comes right into the right hand and then holds on. I thought Bobby Chess was great on, on the collar. Yeah. I really did. I enjoyed him doing fights. Truly did. Fell on hard times because of drinking. Yeah. I didn't know that. I found that out later. Look at these guys. True disdain. Well, when he, when he got fired from Showtime, he had four DUIs. And when he went into the office, he said, from what, the other three didn't bother you? He's using the time inside the punch. I still love that show. Mike throws the right hand. Evander takes it and rolls with it. He fires the right uppercut back. Here's the online scoring. Holyfield. I could see it that way. I could. According to the fans. But Tyson's throwing back. Normally at this point, before this, Tyson would have got hit and didn't usually resist, give too much resistance. When you, uh, here we go. Good job by the ref here taking control. It's just getting out of hand. Now look at, look at Holyfield's body type here. Bigger, heavyweight, I get it. No accusation. I'm just he's the bigger guy here. He had to put on more weight. He had to put on more weight. But he carried his weight well. Absolutely. It's just going to be long. Holding every time they get close, and they get close a lot. Zavina's not retreating. He's not running. He's not moving. Although he is boxing and punching back, it's going to be a long night with all this country. Past the midway mark of round three. Not many thought it would go this far. Yours truly being one of them. Mike is not overwhelming him like he did everybody else. Everybody else fell back. A warning, a warning for Tyson for hitting on the ring. 
You know what I told people? I said, finally, to me, doesn't represent finally the postponement, but finally someone's going to fight Mike back. And I remember very clearly back in 91, it was the tail end of my honeymoon in November 8th. I flew in to see the fight. It didn't happen. Good exchange here. Holyfield pouring in just above us. Holyfield has legitimized this fight. He's made it a championship fight. And Tyson's not overwhelming anybody. He finds himself. He's back to where he was. He's got a yeah, definitely. Fight. He will. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Joe Town. Any of the previous four since Tyson's release from prison. At 23, I wasn't filled out. It's true. It's totally true. The strength is going to be a fact here, too. We get it later. This will be a real attrition battle. Holyfield just won't let Tyson unleash as he hangs on to him on the inside. That's years of ring experience. That's smart. That's very smart. We approach the final 10 seconds of round number three. As Holyfield looks to counter punch off the swinging miss by Tyson. He could have been a cheerleader. Uh, and Bobby, that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Well, you did hear Jay Bright. They create a narrative. People don't realize that. Now nah, Mills wasn't here for this one. He probably maybe had the next one. Yeah. Here we go, round four. We'll, after this round, we'll uh, catch up. Just going right round from round. Straight right in over the top's not working. He's got to get up the middle shots in. And Evander is outspeeding him on these exchanges. Thank you, Jimmy. He's initiating it. He's getting two or three punches, and he's tying him up. That's points, folks. That's points. Go hold, go hold, go hold, go hold, go hold. All right, step back. The holding continues. Evander Oliver guaranteed a win. That might be the most outrageous guarantee since Joe Namath in Super Bowl three. But I'll tell you, he is coming to fight. A lot of people thought Tyson taking Holyfield too lightly. Tyson looking very frustrated now. Ooh. Big right hand. Holyfield coming on. Big uppercut. Tyson's throwing. trying to push Mike back so Mike can't get the forward leverage and momentum. Genius. That left up by Tyson was blocked by Holyfield's shoulder. Holyfield walking Tyson backwards into the rope. Holyfield is not letting Tyson do any of the bullying. He's doing all of it. I think Holyfield's a lot stronger than Tyson anticipated. It's experience, the size, the ring smart. What we're looking at is a champion that's had a lot of experience, and you're looking at it right here. That's Overall scary. strength is going to be a big factor with this type of fight, too. Evander can't keep wrestling with Mike all day and still be effective enough and strong enough. Absolutely, Jimmy. Tyson unleashing a flurry there, but it did not seem to face Holyfield, and you wonder that how, how that works on the mind of Tyson. I tell you, somebody in the corner better start telling him that he's losing rounds, and they're going to be hard to make up if this keeps on going. He may not be able to pull this out with a knockout. Then it's going to be very interesting. Wild left hook by Mike Tyson. See, as soon as their bodies touch, Mike lands a punch or it's done. Got 12 people in the chat. If we could get 12 thumbs up, 12 likes, hit the bell, 12 shares, share with somebody you think might like our stuff. Good combination, fast, out slick him. But back comes Tyson with a hope you're enjoying this fight. And on the inside, I, I am. The cuts, That's that headbutt again. And he got a headbutt, but he, you know, almost like the M in MMA, you know, you're taught to use your head in certain Mike's only getting one shot. positioning. He's slapping him in the face. With All right, Timmy, I'm going to slow down here just because we have. Round number five. Timmy, what do you got here as we go into round five? Three rounds to one, Tyson. I mean, Holyfield. Holyfield, yeah. I, I don't know how you can see it any other way. And what, what I'm starting to see, I'll say it now. Um, obviously, I, re, I, know, I know the outcome. Um, but it, it, I'll save it for the end. I'll save it for the end because it will be a lazy narrative and it'll be easy to say right now. He, he no, it, it's, it's a matter of... Um, it's a matter of 
when Teddy, when Teddy Atlas said to me, you know, um, after I had done an event and, uh, you know, Michael, it was a bunch of guys on the card and he gave me all his time. We talked personally about some things and he told me what he told me about who, you know, and it was beef between them. And I, I understood that, but, but he totally, he meant what he said when he said, anytime Mike was faced with resistance, um, or felt, um, as he put it, would look for a way out. Now, he didn't show it in this fight, but he would show it in the next fight when he bit his ear. He looked for a way out. The way out was to bite him because he couldn't handle the fact that he was getting decimated. And we'll get to that when we get to that. But again, I'm starting to see when he doesn't start to like that you can, he can't bully you. Because let's face it, his first 17 fights, guys were petrified to get, they were beat before they even got in the ring. Now, that's an argument for another day. Well, I don't want to take too much time here. I just wanted to share you that. See, you see in that picture, you see his legs, you see the way he's standing straight up. Yeah. That's not Mike Tyson. That's why he right. doesn't have really anything on his punches. Well. You know, he squats down and he. Right, right. But again, I was I, I was going to ask you, we already know at this point, he doesn't have his corner people. So I'm guessing for this fight, did he have Richie Gachetti, Gachetti or did he have Aaron Snowell and those guys that knew nothing? They didn't even know what to tell him in between rounds. That well, group. I think, uh, didn't Gachetti come after uh, Snowell? Larry, uh, yes. Uh, they I, maybe for the Lennox Lewis fight. That Maybe he had him for Lewis. I don't know. And then he brought the other guy in. Uh, uh, he couldn't. Jay he Bright. just had one. Yeah, yeah, he had, yeah, he he had guy after guy. partner with Tyson. Yeah, but, horrible. Uh, Snowell and them were terrible. Terrible. Well, you saw in the championship fight with uh, Douglas, yep. he had no he had no end score. No body. Bring down the stone. Isn't letting Tyson hit him in combinations, quickly tying him up as he comes in. Yeah, he had left the building. I'm just, it's just an observation, you know. I think Tyson's yeah. got to get back into his rhythm again. It's easy to say it now, you know. He's still bobbing and weaving with his head, but he's not using the jab coming in behind it. It's what he, he, what he said. That's what he told me. But when you really go back and watch him, anytime he's faced with resistance, it became a problem. About 15 people in the chat. 15 thumbs up. Come on, guys. Help us out here. 15 thumbs up. Tell oh, Timmy how much you love him. Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll blame it on you, Tim. <laughs> 16. We're up to 16. 16 thumbs up for Timmy Irish. 16 thumbs up for Amanda Holyfield putting this. You know what? I didn't just like Tyson. I didn't like the things he started to stand for. And, you know, maybe that was um, observations. So the optics, I didn't like his optics. And uh, it went from one which seemed to be of, uh, I don't know. You know, obviously we found out later on he, he was this. We all have issues, right? Nobody's perfect. You know, but there were certain things that he couldn't handle as a young man. And maybe I, none of us would have been able to handle them, you know. In 35, but I wasn't the biggest fan, even in his heyday. I was not. He's trying to beat a man, and that's even when he was with Rooney. And and I wasn't. I was impressed. Yeah, I wasn't his biggest fan. Specifically for this particular fight, he lost the one thing that he uh, I love Kevin Rooney when he has good discipline, and that's GDM. Thank you so much, GDM. I hope you had a happy Easter, dear. Under a minute remaining in round five. How's Timmy doing? Give Timmy our best. EDM says hello, Timmy. Robin Gibbons played a part, absolutely. Well, you know, as a man, you know, you know, you allow certain things, you know, man or woman, you know. Something's toxic. You got to walk. Easier said than done, but you got to do what you got to do. Now the jab of Holyfield. Good defensive move by Tyson. Ducks under 
the right hook by Holyfield. Tyson. And Evander oh, right, right on the butt in that left hook. Right Woo! Evander's punches no longer have Evander saw the time his. This power stuff that he what the? Absorbing is wearing him out. Look, Jay oh. Bright told Tyson. Work the Jay Bright, that was the other clown. So it's definitely Snowwell and Jay Bright in the corner. There we go. Round number six. Round five was a good one for Tyson. Yeah, Tyson's Round still banging here. As a result, in the Holyfield corner, they detected a little. What do you guys think in the chat? What do you guys think in the chat? How do you see it after five? Off the jab, the corner of Evander Holyfield. Those are smart directions. He's got to use the jab to work his way in. And then unload when Mike Weaves, maybe catch him with two or three, catch him coming out of a weaving, you never know. But he's starting to get a little bit weak from the pressure. What are you guys think in the chat? Of Mike Tyson. I think the power started turning on, and I think he, he senses it. So he's fighting a little bit happier and a little bit stronger than he was. He looked yeah, closer, closer than I thought, honestly, the first fight. Rounds. But that's a big left hook. Evander's leg, not really buckled, but they caved in. Yeah. Just a pinch. That was a big left hook. Big left hook is right. Mitch Halpern again calls time. Accidental headbutt. Who's cut? Oh, you're watching. What are you thinking, baby? Can't see much right now, but he is. DDM, it's all good. Send Timmy our regards, please. After four rounds, they go to the score cards on an accidental foul. Now, both wailing away. What an exchange. Mike Maybe GDM you like tomorrow night Evander show better. We're going to talk about some uh, and came back. Cut, not looking good. About the left eye. My timing. Uh, now a sense of urgency Mike, begins to develop. And madness. Doing the, the wrong thing, things man. in life. Well, you know, it's an accidental headbutt, and I have Mike ahead. So if we go to the scorecards, Mike wins. But there's no closure to this fight with that kind of ending. No closure but whatsoever. Fans it's, not, it's not a bad enough cut for that. It's not a bad enough cut to worry about it though, Bobby, right now. And he's so mad that he wants to take over this fight and, and finish it. The chance of Holyfield. But the crowd sensing that Holyfield might have Tyson in trouble because of the cut. Yeah, good to see you, bud. Always a pleasure to see you, my man. Thank you for coming in. Holyfield turned on by the crowd. Less than a minute round. Six. Always a pleasure, bro. Oh, this round like a champion, like the overachieving warrior that he is. Wow. Wow. Right on the button. Timmy, right on the button. What do you think? We'll talk about it in a minute. We'll go back to it. Oh, he's got him hurt. Oh, here's where. All right, I'm not going to say it. But this is where Teddy says Mike always looks for a way, a reason to quit. Let's see if he continues through this. I got to say, he, 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 he got up. He's been, yep. Yeah. This is a, yeah. This is only what? Oh, right on the, right on that ear again. And Tyson Strong, oh, big right hand. Most guys would be down from that. Wow, he ate some serious leather there. It was a balance shot. That's what it was Woo! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to talk about this. Tyson on the canvas. All right. Timmy, let's talk about that knockdown. I'm not going to slow it down, guys. I just got to slow it because they're going right. They're not even giving you that minute in between. They're going right to it, and this is going to jump off quick. So, Timmy, talk to me. What, 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 what we got going on here? Well, Let all people know. You get hit right on the button. <laughs> right on the button. Holy but... field stepped right into him. Whew. Wow. I got to tell you. Go ahead. In all fairness, if Tyson was properly trained for this fight, it'd be a different he story. He wasn't. But that's not Holyfield's fight. Holyfield came to do his job. And you see Tyson, he's running out of gas now already. Yeah. And, um... In a way, I mean, we'll discuss it afterwards, but again, I don't want to hop on that. Is he looking for, after going down like that, is he already defeated? We'll talk about it in a minute. Riddick, though, but couldn't finish him off. 
We got 16 watching. Just asking for 16 likes. All right, Timmy, for your hard work tonight. Terrified by that, it should be Tyson because he can see his whole future floating away here. Right. How about scores, guys? I got him. Gianni, this was a classic, right, brother? And I have to fight even. I have to fight three, two, one even, but the knockdown makes it even. On him, all over Holyfield for not stepping back on the break call. Ladies and gentlemen, well, Matt has and that, that fallen asleep. We haven't heard from Matt in about five minutes. That means he's out cold. There's that range, and Holyfield has to stay at. That's the range. He's developed the respect, and that's the range. Thank you, Cinnamon. Yeah, we all, you know, our little show is doing our little thing. The train that couldn't, right? The train that could the total time of Tyson's last four fights, 18 minutes, 40 seconds, and the equivalent of and, six and, rounds. And here is where corners save you or lose you. If Jay yeah, Brady Aaron Snowell and uh, Jay Bright ain't exactly the greatest. <laughs> they watch you know it. Thanks, Kelly. A good body shot by Tyson, but he's got he's to get up the middle. He's got to get that uppercut, both of them, in play. Again, after the end of the fourth round, they go to the scorecards in terms of an accidental foul. Now keep in mind the cut of the eye of Tyson, who just walked into it straight left by Holyfield. Just see where Holyfield's head is? beat him is as he comes in and hit him, and that's what Evander Holyfield's been doing with his superior uh, intelligence in this fight. Intelligence is where this is going on here. Evander's fighting the smartest fight. He's tell you, uh, when we get the right people on that are going to come on, we're going to talk a lot about that head positioning, how, as you know, it works and how it's really counted on and needed in the cage. And then some. Far from it. He's fighting with the well, listen, in all fairness to Holyfield, maybe he it's not below Tyson to head bottom. More. No, no, right. He can come right back with the same thing. Absolutely. Dictating the dance here. Pace is slowing severely. Oh. And I'll tell you, boy, stop, it's stop, a difficult boy. type of fight when you have that oil. Oh, Absolutely. It didn't, yeah. Took him light, I believe. And it, oh, here we go. Here's where it starts. That, now, that was a clear headbutt. Now, did they collide? We're going to see. Did he throw it or did he walk into it? Kind of like Weidman the other night, two fingers in the eyes. We'll talk about that another time. We'll get Ray on. We'll see. Oh, wow. Ferdy putting that narrative out there. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't like Tyson trying to quit. Did you hear that? Wow. Shouldn't say that. Should not say that. Half the time, he don't know what he's looking at. That's why, I, I honestly, I listen to a lot of stuff with the sound off because no matter what you're watching, there's a narrative being pushed. Yeah. That's why when you scout football for him, you never have the sound on. He did the same thing for Leonard. He did the same thing for Ali. Absolutely. That's why, honestly, when you break down film, there's no sound. You can't listen to what, how great somebody is or not. Here we go. Tyson's getting his ass kicked. Yeah, you're right, Nikki. Definitely. Yeah, this is getting more dirty by the second. Tyson is not happy. And Tyson looking more discouraged, less like a man. No, that's your guy, Joe Town. I'm a, I was always a Holyfield fan. I just finished saying I wasn't the biggest Mike fan. Establish himself, you know, and he's from the boroughs. I'm not saying uh, I came from a crew of guys we didn't love, we weren't big mind Tyson fans, we just weren't. Not that we didn't respect his power, or we did. We just uh sided with Teddy Atlas, bottom line, you know, you cared more about that than. Evander's fighting one of the worst fights like the fighters of the 40s and the 50s, like Archie Moore and those guys who, as a Charles, who knew how to tie you up as soon as he hit you and drive you crazy. That's all in five when it counted. I know you don't like to hear it, Timmy, but that is a fact, right? He's getting inside, and that's weather banging in. Mike Tyson, all in five when it counted, just like the Buffalo Bills. 
Oh, and four when it counted. And that's part of the strategy. And that gives him plenty of time to recharge his batteries because no doubt they took away his best people, you know, no doubt. I mean, he's messed up in the head, but yeah, yeah, definitely. No, but I'm done. I never tried. Mike came for him one at a time. Mike's got to get back in the conversation. He had so much natural talent. I mean, he'll still go down as one of the greats. You know, they'll have him up there. Look at this. I mean, he's still. I got to give him credit. He's still. He's, he's still throwing here after getting dropped. I mean, mostly anytime we've seen him get dropped, especially with Buster, he wanted nothing to do with that. He, he, he didn't want it. Maybe it's a different kind of power, but he's still fighting back here. So he wasn't looking for a way out right now. So Ferdy Pacheco saying that before, is Mike looking to quit? No, I think he just showed that. He wasn't. Not at this point. He would have stayed the path that Customato laid out for him. Oh, he would have been. I thought he was going to bite his ear then. So what we have here is reversal of form. Because let me tell you, let me yeah say this clearly. He has not had but four nothing fights, and he is not ready to fight the twelve real hard. Tyson looked like he was wobbled there. He got spaghetti legs. I don't know why he got hit on top. That old equilibrium. Holyfield knows he's taking control of this fight. Well, you can see he's exhausted. His mouth is yeah, wide open. The outset did those four previous fights since prison prepare Holyfield properly or Tyson properly for Holyfield? And we're seeing the results. Here we go. This is going against just about. I hate how they brush it like this. <laughs> yeah, right, Johnny. They pulled about forty riders across the country. One guy picked Holyfield. It was Ron Gorgeous in the Boston Globe. Yeah, he's sitting right behind us, laughing right now. He predicted a Holyfield win. Round nine. I tell you what, four rounds is not fighting squad from over. With the explosive power of anybody in the weight division, especially Mike Tyson, anything could happen here. It is still long from done. Absolutely. With Mike Tyson, it only takes right, one right, punch. Right, 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 right. And we sit here and wait, wait for Evander to show those signs of fatigue that he did in all the other he fights. He was leaning with his head a lot. You can see it. It looks like he wanted to bite him here in the first fight. He's not being forced to work. He's getting a good rest. Unfortunately, when I fought him, I let him work by throwing punches on my head too often. And he got a little tired. Tyson may have to put something on his gloves. Well, T Holyfield has always gone to the past. What tools to bring to a fight? And he's proving it again here. Still throwing. Total action. Total action that was won by Holyfield. Like three sets. He must be wondering what have I got to do to get this stuff. Well, you heard that sound like a bomb went off. See if Vayner's ducking and he's trying to parry off that shot. He blocks Mike's shot and then fires back. He rock and rolls with his right hand. There you see him again trying to rock and roll. Mike's got to throw the second and third punch in combination. Well, this is a real scorcher. A heavyweight fight for the first time in a long time. Mike's physically exhausted. Holy field, the chance for the crowd again. What were the odds on a draw? I tell you, he's landing some shots on on Evander too. I mean, we're, uh, he's throwing some weather here. Started out a twenty-five to one underdog, got it down to six to one just prior to the fight. Absolutely. Someone knows something Somebody we didn't do. Something. <laughs> Come on, baby. Nine more. Anybody in the weeds? Give us a bite. There you go, bro. Thanks, babe. Unleashing at the same time, but both glancing blows. Analytics. My analytics guy says that. Uh, the more likes and people that share the video, you know, not everybody likes what we do. Without, you know, we don't just stay on one thing, you know, to move around. Thanks, Bay. Evander is landing the harder punches, and Tyson is wearing himself out, missing. He's making the puncher's mistake. He's abandoning any kind of boxing and trying to. Yeah, you're still, still doing your link. You're still doing your thing with your with your stuff. Drop a link, bro. If you you know, I don't know how to freaking do it. Otherwise, I would drop it for you. 
Here we go. I didn't even realize this went this far. I didn't even know that. Wow, I forgot that this went 10. Well, Mike is getting to that little level where he might need. I thought this was like an eight rounder. I don't know how much they give a favorite uh, immortal like fighter like Tyson's becoming, but I have him ahead by so much. I have the vendor ahead by so much that it's getting to the point where he either he gets a knockout or he's going to win the fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield and countering with a combination is Mike Tyson. That left hook, which is usually lethal, being guarded beautifully by Holyfield. Got an insurmountable lead for right now for Holyfield, but he also has put together a strength. I'm glad we did it, man. I'm glad we did a double headed tonight. And Mike is strong. Mike maybe take care of things. Michael, uh, and we come back full right throttle, baby. Tomorrow night. Are you who keeping, knows? Are you keeping it by points? How many points have you got in your head? Screen talk. Yeah, I've got him ahead by three. And, and Monday night. Going to be one every round. Be, uh, that could have been dangerous. Holy I think it'll be a good football show. Thank you. Drop it, Gianni. So anybody else got a link? Drop it. I know, I know, Gian. But sometimes you do some stuff. Whatever, it's there, but happy. Um, we're going to do a live mock draft where there will be trades involved, people calling in actively, making trades, try to simulate what goes on in the war room in the NFL. Try to show people maybe what don't understand it, don't understand how it works, what it costs to move up, stuff like that. We got something planned every night this week. And the punishment that Tyson has has been administered by Holyfield is taking all the time, Gianni. Absolutely. Then again, Holyfield. I mean, Holyfield may crazy dog. I know. Doesn't look like a ball of energy either. But also remember the heart of Evander Holyfield. It looks like that heart of Holyfield is is ticking pretty well right now. I we should do a Timex commercial any day now. They yeah, whole absolutely, Joe Town. Of cardiacs. Wonder why they're up. You know, when you go back to your corner and they're telling you zero. I remember this. I remember Snowwell and Bright. There were fights that they were at this corner where they couldn't. They didn't say nothing to him. Zero. Zero. Whereas Kevin Rooney used to be in his chest screaming at him, almost nobody, or, or at least telling him something. On Holyfield, first real sign. Yeah, Holyfield has grabbed me. Here we go. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, what a right hand! Good night, Irene. Is this it? Oh. Oh, spaghetti leg. Oh, he's going. With, I can't believe he stood up. Wow, that's the most heart I see. I got to tell you, that Tyson showed a lot of heart there. He got hit with Bob. There's the great Jay Bright. How he got it in the corner, I have no clue. Don King guy, obviously, or he or he knew Mike from the neighborhood. I don't know. Him and Snowwell. That guy knew nothing about boxing. And that's coming from somebody that didn't spend his whole life boxing. Me. <laughs> I box it all. That's what I'm now with guys right now. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's it. I have no problem with that stoppage. See you, Timmy. One more look from the overhead, and here's a vendor again. I can't tell you how much that jab was important. Sharp prominence. Every shot on top of the ear, top of the Oh, man. Straight. On the up, up the inside there. Oh, there's right. the elbows, too. Like you said. I think not only hurt, but just too tired to continue. I don't know what he's going to say later, but no argument from Tyson. Yeah. Um, Baywatcher wants to know, why does Tyson keep swinging over his head, Timmy Irish? trying to hit him <laughs> the other guy's ducking he's trying to hit him knock him out take this down let me tell the crew something he missed holy field uh practically the whole fight he was missing him no tyson never had a problem with that stoppage too i just want to a thank everybody for a double headed tonight we had i think we had a good time Big room or not, we had a great time. A lot of fun doing this. Timmy, I know you always have a ball doing this. This is your thing. I enjoy it thoroughly. I hope everybody in the chat enjoyed it. Um, thank you um, for everything. Briefly, I'll just tell you guys. Um, 
when, when I tell you we got some whatever area we're going to do and discuss, we're going to have people um, that you will know, that you will know that will be on this show, channel, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're trying to really, we're not trying, we're doing it. Going to give you the best that we can give in whatever we're talking about. Whether it be boxing, music, MMA. We already got the street stuff covered. Um, and, and, and we're going to do some good things. And we're going to continue to try and give you a better product aesthetically um, in every way. From guests to what we do. And that's it. I want to just thank you for another good evening. Great night. Way to start the week. Tomorrow night, street life with the... I won't say it. <laughs> My time in the street. And I got some good... Uh, talk about a little treachery maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll wake up and change my mind and talk about something else, but I don't know. Tim, you got anything you want to tell the chat before we head out? No. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you all. Kelly, Cinnamon Girl, Maureen Frick, Timmy Irish, thank you as always. Baywatcher, Joe Town Jack, Gianni, Francis, Baywatcher, always. Dave T, um, Cinnamon Girl, thank you. I told you, you have unlimited sick days, Cinnamon Girl, and unlimited, <laughs> unlimited vacation days. Baywatcher, my man, way to stay with us, buddy. Maddie's out cold, Nick, my man, you know it. Joe Town Jack, thank you. Um, I know there's other stuff going on, other channels, good guys, guys I like. They're good people. Go check them out. Um, OG Mike's got their stuff going on. GDM, thank you for popping in. I appreciate everybody. Maureen, always, thank you so much. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Um, if I did, please tell me, Nick. If I forgot anybody, I hope I didn't. Jimmy D, thank you so much, my brother. Uh, Joe Town, I got you. Benny, thank you. Tell Sally's in trouble. He didn't come in tonight, but he had little Nick come in, so we're good. Dave T, sorry, catch the replay, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night, 8 o'clock live, as we talk about the Bronx and some things that went on during my time of playing the thug life. All right? Be well. Be safe. Get home safe. Love you all. Peace. Enjoy you, CBRs and VCRs, ATs.